hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and i would like to first of all thank all of you to show and support my channel to love the content which i am posting and you might be thinking that why am i not posting content or some tutorials since last few days and today i will share a little bit about that that i was really busy in the physical event i was going to the colleges and making students aware about the animation career and i'm really grateful that i served more than 3000 students to get awareness about the 3d animation career and also about passion animator which is the first ever indian animation academy to have international mentors so Today in this video, I'm going to share you about how to import and export the animation in Maya. Now, a lot of students or when we become an animator and we start working in the industry, it's very important that you work smart. And that is why you should know this. You should know how to export and import the animation and why it helps. Because sometimes what happens is you have to do the same animation on some other character. And you cannot waste your time doing the same thing again and again. So if you know this thing, export and import, you can actually take out the animation from one character and put it onto the other character. You cannot directly copy and paste the keys, but there is a different process. And I'm going to share that a secret tip as well in this video. So stay tuned till the end of the video. Watch the complete video to know about the exact process. So there are four simple steps to do this and to export and import the animation from one character to other. So without wasting time, let's get directly into the video and understand how to do that stuff. If you can see my screen now, now there are two characters I have imported. I have done the referencing two times of the same character. Now, if you see the character on the left, that is the character which is animated. And if you see the character on the right, that character is not even moving. It's in T pose. Now, in this video, I'm going to share you how to export and import. So how can I actually put the same animation on this character? So the very first step, the very first step you have to do is go to the plugin manager and actually turn on the option of anime import and export. Now, if you do it directly, sometimes what happens if you are doing it for the first time in Maya? this option might not be turned on and you will not see the option of export and import in when you go to the export import tab. So the first thing you have to do is check your plugin manager and turn on the anim export import. Now how to do that? You have to go to windows, then you can go to settings and preferences and here we have plugin manager. If you go to plugin manager, this window will open and if you see here, there is something called anim import export dot mll and if you see here it's loaded and auto load so both the options you need to tick so that whenever you open maya these options automatically load can you see here auto load auto load means when the maya starts this option will automatically get turned on and when this option is on you can actually see the anim export import option in your other tab so now this is on. If you can see here, I will just close. And then now the second step is to select all the controls and hit the key on the first and the last frame of your character animation. Now, why this is important? This is important because sometimes what happens, you don't have all the controllers keys on the last frame or maybe on the first frame. So when you export the animation and suppose you want to import that animation on some other character and if your animation is starting, suppose your pelvis animation is starting from 10. Suppose here, if your pelvis is starting from 10, but you are watching, you are able to see one key on first frame. So what will happen? Your animation will get exported completely, but you might get confused while importing the animation. So the second step is keying all the controls on first and last frame so that you know that I have keys on all the frames and you should not select your global, by the way. If you select your global, then your global will also have a value. So what will happen when you import the animation on the other character? that other character will also come to the same place. That should not happen. 
you should only do the global key when you need that other character to be on the same place. Until then, you should only export the other animation, not the global animation. So if you see here, I've selected all the controls without the global. I'll go to the first frame. I'll hit a S key. The last key is on 52. So I'm hitting a key on 52 S. First and last, I did the key. So this is the second step and it's very important. This step is very important. Now the third step is to select your global. I'll select the global from which the animation I need to export. So this is the global I've selected. You go to file. You go to export selection. This is an export selection option. If I click on the box here, then a short window will open. Now here, the way I was asked, telling you, right, that if you don't turn on the plugin manager option, then here, whatever you are seeing, the anim export option file type, this will not be visible if that plugin manager is not turned on. Can you see here anim export? This option gets away if that is off. So I'll select anim export. Then you come a little bit down. Here you have precision, which you need to keep it on float. It's on float. Then you have something called hierarchy. Now hierarchy is, if I have to show what is hierarchy, most of you will know, but if you don't know what is hierarchy, if you see this character, right? So all these controllers are actually in hierarchy. That means if I select this, all the lines from here, from the, till the top, this is one hierarchy from here till down. It, this is another hierarchy. Now hierarchy is the way you are having the joint. Suppose pelvis is the main and you are having the upper joints going upper like this way. So when you move your body from here, all the upper body moves. Can you see? And when you move the leg, complete leg moves. So now selecting the hierarchy, hierarchy should be below. If I select this, so complete thing, can you see all the controllers are highlighted when I'm selecting the global? So these all the controllers are in hierarchy with the global. So I'll select below. So when I select this, all the controllers which are inside this global will have the export thing. You don't need to select individual controls. If you select here selected, then only the selected controls will get exported. The animation of the selected controls will get exported. So I'll select below. Then you go to channels. Channels is you can keep all keyable. So whatever you have done the keys, all the keys will be copied. Now, if you select here from channel box, then can you see this is a channel box. Then again, only the channel box, which will have the keys where you're not having the keys, it will not get exported. And here time range, time range, you can select all. All means whatever the animation is in your file, completely it will get exported. If you select start and end, then you can mention your start time and end time. That means suppose if I have to do this export from this category, start to end. So I can do first frame and 52. I can type here one and 52. Then my complete shot will get exported or else suppose if you like only this much animation, if you want this much animation to export and put it on some other character. So what you can do, you can select a time range from one to 16. So you can type here one, you can type here 16 and only 16 frames animation will be exported. Now, again, when you do this kind of a thing, when you are actually exporting only few frames, then the first step which we did, you should have a key on first and the last frame of the shot which you are exporting. So if you are exporting your first to 16 frames, then the same thing will apply here also. You will have to hit a key of all the controls on first, and now if you are exporting till 16, that means 16 is your last frame for the export. So you have to hit a key of all the controls on 16th frame also. If you are exporting only 16 frames, it's not needed when you are exporting everything. But when 16 is your last frame, if 18 is your last frame, you have to hit the key on 18. That is what you need to be sure about. And then your methods and segments, you can keep it keys here. And then I will select export selection. Now export selection, what, wherever you want to save, you can save. I will just have your export selection. This is what I did earlier. So you can just rename it. Uh, you can just go and put the name and it will get exported. Now, if you see here, this is the global. 
again i will check i think we missed some so this is something file export selection whatever options you have done it will be saved export selection and once again i'll just replace it if now if you see here this character is not having any animation can you see this character is not moving the character on the right now we need to import the animation so the third step which we discussed was to select the global and go to the export option and the fourth step which i was talking about was all the options which we did we selected below we selected the hierarchy thing all those options you need to check that was the actual fourth option fourth simple step to do this now we are done with the export part you need to import the animation now select the global again of another character which you want the animation to be imported now i'll select the global here and here i'm going to first frame i will click file then i'll go to import can you see here import box option and again here also you have anim import now again when if that option is not turned on in the plugin manager you will not be able to see this anim import option in the import thing in the import menu so you go here anim import and then you have some options down here right so these are few options how do you want to import the animation now here you have time range time range is start if you select start then from the very beginning the animation will get pasted if you select start to end it will go from first to the last if you select current current means wherever your time slider is suppose i am having on 6th so from 6th the animation will get imported if i am having it on 10th then from 10th the animation will start if i am importing it and when you select on clipboard clipboard is your board so whatever you exported the same way it will be imported no matter where your time slider is it will actually get imported the way you exported so if your export was from 1 to 52 then your import will also be from 1 to 52 if you are clip keeping the option as clipboard and then here you have options of adjustment this is something which you can keep what do you really want when you are importing the animation what do you want the paste method what should be the paste method are you inserting the import whatever it is the animation do you want to insert it in the same file or do you want to replace it replace means whatever your current animation is there in the file that will get deleted and the new animation will come up that is the replace and third option we have is merge merge is suppose you are having an animation from 1 to 12 frames and you want the new animation to come from 14 so you go on 14 and you do the merge option so what will happen the animation will come in the file and the earlier animation will also be there in the file this helps when you have to keep both the animation the new and the earlier one so i will go to merge normally i can keep merge because the file is now empty i don't have any animation on this character so whether i keep merge or replace or insert it does not make any difference for me because it's an empty file so i select here and i go to import now you have to locate your file where is your file this was the file i locate the file and i click on import now this cursor will roll up a little bit it will take a little bit of time to import and then if you see did you see it came into the same pose now if i go to the camera and if i play you will have the same animation happening here did you get it right so we were able to actually import the same animation now the one tip the one secret tip i was talking about you cannot export import animation all the time on all different characters why because every character has a different hierarchy now hierarchy is the skeleton the skeleton is different for all the different characters some people do in normal way some people do use some scripts 
So the skeleton, the number of bones which are there in a particular character or the controls, the setup of controls, that should match the setup of controls where you are exporting or importing the animation. So basically both the characters should have the same setup. No matter the model is different in look and feel, but the skeleton has to be same. Now how it can be same? Suppose if you watch any film or you watch any TV series. So in TV series, what happens to export and import animation and to make the workflow fast, what happens is they create only one hierarchy, a set of controls for all the characters of that type. Suppose if all the humans are there, then they will have one setup for everything. So what happens is in series, the deadlines are short. So the artists can actually copy paste the animation from one character to another because the hierarchy is the same. The setup of controls is the same. So this was the secret tip I was talking about in the thumbnail you might have seen. So thank you so much. I hope this video was helpful to you. And now you can actually start exporting and importing your animation correctly in the correct way. And also you will be knowing the options about why that option is there. I have shared that as well, that why to use a particular option. So you will know everything about export and import from this video. So thank you so much for watching this video till the end. And I hope this was valuable. I'll come up with more such tutorials and videos. And if you're looking to seek personal guidance from me, or if you really want to apply for personal mentorship, then you can mention your name or you can mention animator in the comment section. And we also have the Disney Pixar mentorship that we are going to talk about later on once you show your commitment in your comment box. So thank you so much for watching till the end. I will see you in the next video. This is Naresh Chaudhary, India's first passion animator mentor. Take care and God bless.